Good morning and welcome to what is our final full day here on Island Princess. Yes, it's our last sea day on our way back to Southampton. We've had an absolutely amazing cruise and it has gone so quick. But this is our last final full day, so we'll tell you all about it now. Hi, if you're new to our channel, we are Tom and Dom Travel and we release a new cruise related video every single week. So if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to give this video a like. Now our morning started off as it has done before where we ordered a couple of coffees. Last night the clocks went forward one hour so we are pretty tired. Now we woke up pretty late so we didn't leave our bed till about 10am but it would have been 9am so we're not too worried about that. We have now clawed back the three hour time difference and we are back on UK time. After our coffee then we went for a quick little walk around the ship just to get a bit of fresh air and a little bit of exercise. What we happened to notice in the Princess Plaza as there was a huge convoy of people heading down to deck five to the Bordeaux restaurant. Us being us and being nosy wanted to find out what's going on we joined in the queue and luckily for us it turned out to be a galley tour. We'd missed the whole talk about the galley but we popped in and did a quick whip around the galley itself and it was absolutely fascinating. Now if you've never had a chance to go in a galley or see in a galley I recommend that you try and get on this free galley tour that you can get on Island Princess after the cooking demonstration talk. The galley was amazing. We'd never seen anything like it. It was really surprising just how big the galley was. They've even got little escalators where they can nip up and down between the restaurants on deck six and five. There's two sets of escalators, which is just absolutely fascinating. And the size of everything, the stations are huge. And there's some people in there who you would never see and they work so hard. And they were really friendly and pleased to see us. They were, were what a great bunch of people in there. And you could tell some of the things that they were doing was spectacular in their skill. One thing that did happen while we were in there, a guy passed us with what looked like to be a bunch of flowers. And we said, oh, what's that? He said, oh, I've made this out of radishes. It was amazing. It did look like a genuine bunch of flowers. Yeah. Incredible, really, really talented. There's some really creative people behind the scenes here and it was great to get a little glimpse into their world. As we came out of the little impromptu galley tour, there was a towel folding demonstration in Princess Plaza, which mm. was really, really interesting. Now, unfortunately, we haven't had any towel art animals left in our cabin on this cruise, but it is fascinating to see the skill and the talent of some of the members of crew. As breakfast was just coming to an end, we quickly hurried up to the Horizon Court buffet where we got ourselves a quick bite to eat, ordered some of those freshly squeezed orange juices, which are available on the Plus and Premier package, and another couple of lattes. I ordered myself a beautiful beautiful cheese and tomato omelette and it was absolutely delicious. On board they've got an omelette station and you can choose from a variety of different ingredients. They give you a little slip, you then sit down and then in five, ten minutes you just hand your slip over to one of the servers in the Horizon Buffet and they'll go and collect it for you. Really, really good service. After breakfast we had a walk around on top deck then headed back to our cabin where we finished off some of our packing that we just didn't have a chance to do yesterday. Pack away all our formal gear from last night so it really does feel like the cruise is coming to an end. We were quite hungry by lunchtime so we headed up to the Lido deck where we were surprised to find an ice sculpturist doing a show. We've never seen this done on board a cruise ship before and it was really really interested, really well attended, lots of people there and I've got to say he was incredible talent. And really friendly, happy to do a photo afterwards and it was a really great piece of art. And the interesting thing is trying to work out what he's making you just see ice and the next thing it turns into these two fish amazing anyway the reason why we were up on the pool deck was to try and get something to eat and today we tried some of the pizza each day there are three types of pizza available there is margarita pepperoni and the day special and today's special was hawaiian so we had a couple of slices of each and we've got to say the pizza on board princess is fantastic have we missed alfredo's or Gigi's? not too much actually no because the pizza from the poolside grill is delicious 
We quickly ate our pizza, washed down with a drink from the bar and we headed straight down to the Princess Theatre because this afternoon is the grand final of The Voice of the Ocean. Dun, dun, dun. It was actually quite dramatic. The set was brilliant. They used three of the original revolving chairs. Earlier on in the cruise, there were a number of auditions. Yes, there were six contestants along with three coaches and it made for a spectacular show. We've got to say that all of the passenger entertainers were fantastic and we've got to give them full credit for actually getting up there on that princess theatre and singing their hearts out. The audience could also get involved with a little interactive keypad which were given out at the start of the show. Unfortunately we couldn't stay until the end because we had our very very special appointment. Yes we had been given a very special invite where we got to explore the Bridge of Ireland Princess. We're thrilled to say that we were lucky enough to be just one of very few people who got to attend the bridge and meet the captain as well as third officer Max who was absolutely fantastic. So we made our way up to deck 12 lift lobby and we were greeted by a member of the security team who basically ushered us through towards the bridge which was fantastic in its own right. We were given a guided tour of all the systems of the bridge by third officer Max and the knowledge he had and shared with us and he was more than happy to let us take pictures, sit in the chair, explore some of the back areas of the the bridge it was really really good we even took the opportunity to stand over the glass floor which hangs on the wing of the bridge which was quite scary really we got to look at different cruise ships that were sailing nearby using the radar and we even had a little go at being lookouts with the binoculars it was a really fun tour unfortunately when you do a bridge tour you're not allowed to take any video footage so i'm afraid photos are just gonna have to do thank you very much to princess for inviting us up to the bridge we really appreciate it now we're not sure actually who invited us they asked us that question when we got to the bridge who's invited you up to the bridge and we don't know the letter just came under our cabin door so if you did invite us thank you very much please let us know who you are so we can thank you in person that would be great in total there were six passengers who were invited up for the bridge tour a bridge tour is something that you cannot request it is not available to all passengers you have to be invited after an absolutely wonderful in a million experience for us we've never had a bridge tour before it was really really fascinating and we thoroughly enjoyed it we made our way down to the princess plaza for the pop rock choir so just as we arrived into the plaza they were doing the shops of princess raffle where there was a chance to win a shopping spree in the shops of princess with a thousand dollars so that was quite nice and one lucky passenger did win in order to be entered into the raffle for the thousand dollar shopping spree you needed to have spent at least $50 in one of the shops of Princess. Then it was on to the Rock Choir where the wonderful Jacinta led a choir of passengers who sang a number of pop songs there in the Princess Plaza and it was really fun, really interesting. Once again the Princess Plaza was full of fellow passengers who were singing along, clapping along. Really really nice 15-20 minutes performance there. They sang about five six songs. We then headed back to our cabin to finish off our packing. After spending a little bit of time in the cabin finishing off a few bits of packing we put our cases out before we went down to dinner we were instructed that cases needed to be left outside our stateroom by 9 p.m yep so luggage had to be out pretty early compared to other ships that we'd been on but we did as we'd asked and luggage was out and we headed down to the Bordeaux restaurant for our final dinner when we arrived we sat at our usual table and ordered two glasses of Pinot Noir tonight's menu was a little bit special as it was the farewell dinner there wasn't a selection of starters that we actually quite fancied because there's quite a lot of fish options and neither of us eat fish so instead we both went for pasta options i went for the fettuccine alfredo the fettuccine alfredo actually came completely different to what we'd had the rest of the whole cruise it came in a little cheesy cup and the pasta seemed to be more tagliatelle it was a little bit of a different dish but still just as tasty and i went for the tortellini with pesto and it was delicious once again the pastas on board princess are fantastic then for my main course I went for the beef short rib it was cooked to absolute perfection the meat was so tender it also came with a cheesy jacket potato which was really nice and I opted to go for one of my most favorite dishes and that was the roasted belly pork now it was spectacular it came on a bed of rice mm. 
and it was just beautiful. The belly pork was cooked to perfection and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I also tried some of Dom's belly pork and I have to say it was really, really tasty. Now, before we got to dessert, there was a surprise in the Bordeaux restaurant where assistant cruise director Angela came on the PA system and did an announcement that there was going to be a baked Alaska parade. And what a parade it was. It was great to see all the members of the restaurant and kitchen staff parading around around the dining room. We feel very fortunate. This is only the second time out of all of our cruises that we've actually witnessed a Baked Alaska parade and they've all been within the last six months. The difference between this Baked Alaska parade and the last one though is that the Baked Alaskas were not real and the lights were not real. So it was a little less dramatic than our previous Baked Alaska parade where we had fireworks and real Baked Alaskas. <laughs> However, it was still a really enjoyable experience and most diners actually got up and started swinging their napkins, as did we. We absolutely loved joining in with the parade. For dessert, I went for, of course, Baked Alaska. Now, the Baked Alaska was completely different to one that I'd had before on our previous ship, but it was just as tasty and I really enjoyed it. Now, those of you that are regular viewers know I'm not a fan of meringue, so I went for the deep dish apple pie, which came with a little Little bit of vanilla sauce, custard and some ice cream. It was delicious. And I also spotted on the menu that they had some cherry sorbet, so I couldn't resist. You absolutely could not resist and you love the cherry sorbet. It was delicious, very fruity, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. After dinner, we quickly hurried to the Explorers Lounge where we saw some of the entertainment team on board doing a game show. In this game show, most of the entertainment staff had to mime to a number of different songs, and I've got to say it was hilarious. We thoroughly enjoyed Angela's performance of Tequila, where she learned the whole words we could not believe how she learnt them that one word tequila. tequila fantastic everyone taking part it was a really enjoyable game show we only caught bits of the game show because of our dinner being a little bit later and we also wanted to make our way to the main theatre for Janine's second performance. Now we knew it was going to be busy because everybody on this cruise ship has been talking about her. Janine Johnson had absolutely blew us away with her first performance and let me tell you her second performance did not disappoint. Actually it was even better. This is the first time we've seen people dancing at the front of the stage on a cruise ship and she had everybody on dancing it was one of the best performances we had ever seen the theater was absolutely jam-packed with people everybody got into the spirit and as tom said everybody was up in their seats dancing pretty much throughout the entire performance we were totally blown away by janine and if you get a chance to see her please do she is not to be missed she did a number of songs from Whitney Houston, Tina Turner, Dream Girls. It was spectacular. After Janine's fantastic show, we went back to Explorers Lounge for our last drink of the cruise, where we met our lovely cruise friends, Carol and John. So we've had such a good time with them. We've met them on most nights of this cruise and we've really enjoyed talking to them. So hello to you both. And we hope to get a chance to speak to you more in the future. In Explorers Lounge tonight, we had ecstasy performance. Performing. Ecstasy is now back to the full five members so we got to see them for one last time while we had our last drink and then it was time to head to bed. So we said our goodbyes to Carol and John as well as the epic bar staff from Explorers. They have been incredible as of Carol and John and we've got to say we're really devastated that this cruise is over. We've had an amazing time. Now our cruise has been 16 nights but it really has flown by so quickly we've had four sea days in a row can you believe that and they have passed us by in a blink of an eye we cannot believe that it has gone so quickly so tomorrow we are disembarking in southampton and our allocated disembarkation time is 8 a.m pretty early so stay tuned and we'll keep you updated well hello we are back home after you last saw us in the cabin perhaps looking a little bit worse for wear after enjoying the last night of our cruise. We definitely made the most of it and I'm sure we should have gone to bed a couple of hours earlier. Yeah we had set our alarm to get up at 20 to 7 so it was a little bit of a struggle and the first thing we did was get on that princess app and order ourselves a couple of lattes. We had successfully docked in Southampton during the night and the weather was beautiful 
and the shore crew were busy taking off all of our baggage. We quickly packed up our cabin and it wasn't long before we were heading out. The first thing that we decided to do was have a little explore around the ship because we did not fancy breakfast at this time of the morning so we thought we'd have a little explore around, head up to those top decks, get a couple of pictures in front of the Island Princess sign and enjoy the beautiful sunny day that was in Southampton. Surprisingly, around about 20 past seven, the ship was incredibly quiet and many passengers had already self-disembarked. Yes, so as we headed back down into the ship, we stopped at the casino to pick up another couple of coffees just to finish waking ourselves up and then explore the rest of the ship a little bit more before our designated time to get off the ship. It's a really good feature. If you have the Plus or Premier package, you can still use it on your disembarkation day, which is different to other cruise lines. Now, as we were wandering around the ship, we headed past Explorer's Lounge. Explorer's Lounge is the designated Platinum and Elite Lounge, where those at that loyalty level can go on disembarkation day. In the Explorer's Lounge, we noticed there was a selection of pastries available, as well as drinks. We didn't go to our designated lounge because it really wasn't necessary. The ship was incredibly quiet. So we continued to walk around and we noticed that down in the plaza where people were disembarking, there was no queue and it was roughly eight o'clock. So we decided to make our way down and disembark Island Princess. Yes, we said goodbye to Andy and Angela who were waiting at the gangway to say goodbye to passengers. It was then that we quickly walked through the passenger terminal and this is where we saw all the luggage waiting for all the passengers. Yes, there was still quite a lot of luggage waiting, but we quickly found our suitcase and headed outside. We'd booked a package with the Holiday Inn in Southampton, which included taxi transfers to and from the hotel. So they gave us a little card with a number that we had to call once we made our way out of the terminal with our luggage. Now the Holiday Inn in Southampton is only a five minutes drive away and it is probably walkable if you didn't have as much luggage as me and Dom do. 16 nights. <laughs> And it wasn't long before we arrived at the Holiday Inn, like I said, about a five minute drive. We then got out the taxi straight into our car and drove all the way back home to Wales, where you find us now. So that was the end of our truly epic 16 night Iceland and Greenland cruise. And we thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. It was an incredible experience and one that we definitely do again. Absolutely, Dom. It was certainly memorable. And we would recommend if anyone is thinking of doing an Iceland or Greenland cruise to absolutely go for it because it was one that we will never forget. Thanks for watching our final day on board Island Princess. And and our disembarkation. If you've got any comments or questions, just pop them in the box below and we'll get back to you. If you'd like to support us in creating future content and receiving exclusive benefits, we're now available on Patreon. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. It's free. And hit that bell notification button to never miss a video from us. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. We've got lots more content available on our YouTube channel, so press that subscribe button. If you're interested in receiving daily updates, we're available on most social media platforms. Just search for Tom and Dom Travel.